that he had with his God. He recognized his brothers, but his brothers never recognized him. Why? Because he was a focused man. All his life, all his teenage life to adulthood, he yearned for his family. He yearned for that love, all right? He was in a strange man's land, but Joseph knew his God. He had that um, genuine relationship and love for his God just like us today. Amen? Yeah. So if we were to focus on our destination, focus on our Jesus, we'll be fine. So tonight we're going to help me sing. That's the song. Every time I think about you. Praise the Lord. Before we sing, turn to somebody and say, bro, sis, I love you in Jesus' name. Turn to the other side. Turn. Sister, I love you in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. All right, let us let us worship the Lord tonight by singing this song. Every time I think about you, oh, every time I read about you.
Forgive us for our shortcomings. And we just want to say we love you, Lord. Amen. Praise the Lord, saints. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord, saints. Praise the Lord. First, you want to give honor to God who is ahead of my life. It's testimony time. I'll, I'll run through our protocol. And you just come up and testify. Our testimony is open to everybody. Yes. Uh, thank God for the bishop. Thank God for mother. Thank God for our church and the first family. I want to praise and thank God for our Sunday service today. I want to praise and thank God for bringing us back to church tonight. Amen. Amen. But before we start our uh, testimony, I would like to sing this song and uh, ask the praise team to help me sing this song. Oh, look what the Lord has done. Oh, look what the Lord has done.
Tino and also our two beautiful daughters, Tumarava Miro. I'd like to praise and honor God for blessing him in his workplace, um, wherever he may go and whatever he may be doing. I'd like to praise and honor God for the joy that I have in my heart and taking care of our babies, although at times it may be hectic, but every day I am reminded that I am a mother and through Jesus I can do anything. Amen. Yeah. I'd like to praise and honor God for the family that I have in our home, for mom and dad, and also for our older kids, Marty, Andy, and Inna that goes to school each and every day. I'd like to praise and honor God for blessing mom and dad with the knowledge, the wisdom, and the understanding um, as dad toils in his plantation and for mom that goes to work as well. I'd like to praise and honor God for my dear sister um, Ty that comes around and helps me out throughout the week with our girls. I'd like to praise and honor God for blessing my sister-in-law Camelia with another year of life today. I'd like to praise and honor God for keeping her um, and also her daughter Tamata i like to praise and honor God for my family that's overseas, for my parents, for my mom and dad, and also for my siblings. i like to praise and honor God for his mercy, for his goodness, and most importantly, for his grace. i like to praise and honor God for keeping me throughout this week and for blessing me always. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord, saints. I want to thank God and praise the Lord for he's such a good God to me. I want to thank God and praise the Lord for a wonderful, uh, joyful week that uh, he has given us. Um, of us amen i want to thank god and praise the lord for the opportunity to continue to be a witness for the lord and to do his ministry i want to thank god and praise the lord that i am part of the body of christ hallelujah thank you jesus i want to thank god and praise the lord for the uh, lots of activities events been happening this week and i thank the lord for the um how would you say the oneness of spirit and i thank god that we are serving only one god i don't know what i'm gonna do with three gods amen but i want to thank god and praise the lord that he has given us the strength to help us with our catering and how we should do things in, in order. Amen. So I want to thank God and praise the Lord for he's such a good God with our fasting and praying these couple of weeks. I see the blessings just coming in and what I thought was, was um, something impossible in terms of uh, my family coming to, to my, going to Mahaya. Um, I thank God and praise the Lord that we've been blessed that, uh, you know, we can all go together. Amen. So that's uh, the miracle that I've experienced through this fasting and praying. And I want to thank God and praise God. There's many other blessings that he has poured into, uh, into our home. And today especially has, oh, what a beautiful, joyful um, service we had this morning. I was so blessed. And even the little extra uh, teaching on the, the fasting. So maybe next time when I go uh, 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 with my fasting, I have to shout somebody with lunch while I look at them and test my, uh, my faith if I'm really strong in my faith, if I can handle it. I uh, thank you, Bishop, for that beautiful teaching. And then this um, this afternoon, I mean, with, with the, the blessings of our visitors, I was so blessed to, to see some of my friends in church, and I think it might have been just their second time um, in, in service, and I'm sure they were all wondering what was happening. Uh, it, 
so just going, amen. And I want to thank God and praise the Lord for the joy. I thank God and praise the Lord as well. Because of our mama's request, we were able to visit our uncle, Nooro Bishop, who's not doing too well. So we called on the family and we sang some songs. Man, we are And the songs that we've been uh, singing uh, to encourage our families, to comfort them with the words. So, but I thank God and praise the Lord, especially because an attack came upon our uncle. And praise the Lord, we had the, the elders there to go and pray, to anoint and pray over him. So I want to say, thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. You're so awesome. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord, says, God is good all the time. Oh, God is good indeed. I praise and honor him for he is the head of my life. Because of him, I am still alive today. I praise and honor him for lifting me up to come today, to come for another time to worship him together with the saints of the living God. I praise him and honor him for his goodness, love and mercy upon us, for the joy that I have in the home and also with our home group. I praise and honor him for his word that encourages me every day just to walk with him and study the word. I praise and honor him because his word is so powerful that moves us as this word moves us. I praise and honor him for our gathering all the time on Tuesday and Thursday night. The joy of the Lord that fills us and the testimony of the God's people testifying about his goodness, love and mercy upon us. I praise him for his blessing upon me every day that he poured into my life and into my heart physically and spiritually. I praise and honor him for our gathering today, especially the food. Oh, what an awesome lunch today. And the united of the Holy Spirit that binds everybody here in the Church of God. So I praise and honor him and I give the glory and honor to our God because he is real in our life. That's why we are here today. And I praise and honor him. We are going to enjoy what the Lord is going to lead us tonight. So I love you, saints. I love you, Jesus. Amen. Praise the Lord, saints. <clears throat> I thank the Lord for this week. Uh, it's been a busy week, as I uh, testified earlier on our catering. I thank the Lord for the unity in our home group. I thank the Lord for the strength uh, He has given all of us. Uh, thank the Lord for our service today. Awesome in our pake. Awesome. And I thank the Lord my blessing for this week. Uh, one of our staff at work at CITC Building Center, um, she, she didn't know. Um, she just fell ill all of a sudden. <coughs> But uh, I just went to make me a coffee when I heard the news that someone was getting ice. I said, what's the ice for? He said, oh, uh, one of the cashiers is uh, not well, that they were rushing to, to put ice on their back. So I said, okay, yeah, I'm coming after you. So I got on my anointing oil, and they were all uh, massaging her. I just went with the oil, and in Jesus' name, <laughs> hallelujah, bang. Next day, she came to work, she said she felt it. She said, oh, she went home. She slept just like a baby and woke up, she was all oh, good. So she said, you know, I told those people, I said to them, no, it's the oil, it's the oil. Whatever Johnny did, I felt it, I felt it. I said, you don't need to tell them. All you need to know is in Jesus' name, bang. That's God there, hallelujah. So that's my blessing this week. Even though our other guy said today, yes, we went to visit the uncle of this. But hallelujah, that's why we're there. We have the oil. Bang. In the name of Jesus. Glory to Jesus. Amen. Praise the Lord, everybody. I honor the Lord for he's such a good God to me. I thank him for his um, being merciful and gracious upon my life. I glorify the Lord at this time for the strength that he gives me each day. I praise the Lord for this day that he's blessed me to be able to stand before you, to worship with you, to praise with you, and just to have a relationship with you and our God. I praise the Lord, yes, for the beautiful lunch that we had today. Um, hats off to um, the Apostle John Homebrook. Um, praise the Lord. I praise the Lord for being able to see my big sister in church um, today as well. And I love, the, I love the Lord and I love it that I have my brother in church. Um, 
in church with me as well. And I just, um, I just, I just want to say thank you, Jesus, for all you do for me. I thank the Lord for my husband for the strength, like Matisha testified, for the strength that God blesses him to toil, to um, to serve and to rule our family. I thank the Lord too for my place of work. Um, for the, the strength and the wisdom knowledge that I have, that I am still able to go to work. Um, times are getting tougher and harder, but I praise the Lord that I still get paid every fortnight. All I pay, I say, so I should get paid. I, <laughs> I thank the Lord that um, for the twins in our home, we have the older twins, Matisha and her sister, and also the, yeah, our baby twins, um, Tumanava and um, Miro. I praise the Lord for um, Temato Taiti, who didn't come to church today with her mother, but I praise the Lord for that blessing, um, being able to have them all, and my three older grandchildren, Mariari, Andrew, and um, Mamaina. I praise the Lord, too, for being able to speak to my sons in um, Australia, just waiting and waiting. Yes, there's a trans-Tasman bubble opening up, but that's just between um, New Zealand and um, um, New South Wales. Hopefully, hopefully, we will get better with our, um, uh, what you call, transfer corridor from, from Australia to the Cooks, but that's up to us to lobby with government. Praise the Lord. I thank the Lord that um, God has been so good to me. I especially glorify the Lord for our Sunday school that we've, come, we've um, been coming through. Yep, we've learned the old-fashioned way, the story of Joseph and his brothers, of Israel and his children, and what happened. But the revelation that's been given to us today, I just glorify the Lord for that. I thank Him for it. It makes me see bigger things, and it makes me see uh, a whole, I, I look at my life a whole new way. So I, th I thank the Lord that God has been good, and I just want to say I love the Lord. I love you, saints. Amen. Praise the Lord, saints. First of all, I give honor to God for his dad of my life. I give honor to God for our dear bishop and our dear mother. Give honor to God for he is the, uh, the good God to me. Uh, I thank the Lord for this whole week. Uh, when uh, I, I woke up every morning, I, I, when I go into uh, what I need to do, God is always there. I thank the Lord, uh, uh, my blessing this week, we have in our, uh, I testify at, uh, at the prison for our blessing that we have at home with our dear bishop. He, he brings some taro to plant, but just only, uh, not, not over 100, but uh, me and our elder, we went to plant, and then uh, the elder said to me, hi. Bishop uh, changed the Cook Island way. Uh, the Cook Island way, they used the machine that to build, uh, to uh, dig the, the, the grass, but he using us to, to pull the wheat off. And I said to him, yeah, well, when we go back to Samoa, that's what we're gonna do. I thank the Lord for, um, for my other blessing this week, uh, our home group for the teaching. Uh, our blessing from last night, we join in our uh, Apostle John for their uh, preparation. Uh, there is one auntie, and auntie, mama and sister at the back there. She said to me, hi, look at the home group. Ah, beautiful. And I said, yeah, it's working. I thank the Lord for, uh, for, for that uh, blessing that we see how these people work. I thank the Lord for, uh, I, I, I see the, my blessing last night. Uh, one of the, the sisters that she built the, the watermelon. I see other, uh, other name here, build the, the, the skin, but that, that mama or auntie come in half and half and just cut it and then cut for the... I thank the Lord for, for, the, for the wisdom that God giving to us to, to do the work. Uh, work smart, not hard. I thank the Lord for... Uh, for the prison ministry today, I thank the Lord for, for the brothers. Uh, we see the brothers, they like, the, they love the word of God. And also I thank the Lord, uh, I love my one, one love at the back there, my uh, small truck. I thank the Lord for, for allowing me to uh, be the driver of, of that truck. I thank the Lord when I go on the road, the thing on my mind is say, show the, the people that that truck is saying, one love. Show the, the love of God. Amen. Mother. <laughs> Praise the Lord, saints. Hello. Hallelujah. What a beautiful day that the Lord has given us today. I thank the Lord for 
the service from the beginning to the end. I thank the Lord for the beautiful lunch that we've had. I thank the Lord for all the visitors and all those who came to be in our service today for the first time, hallelujah, or for the second time. I, I thank the Lord for uh, seeing uh, General George in church today. That was a great blessing, hallelujah. I thank the Lord just for being a good God, and I'd like to end my testimony. Uh, you know, I, I want to see the Lord in peace one day, and I want him to say good and faithful servants. So I just want to sing this little chorus. Oh, I want to see him, to look upon his face, there to sing forever of his saving grace. On the streets of glory, oh, let me lift my voice, all the cares are past. I'm home at last. Ever to rejoice. Oh, I want to see him to look upon his face. testify thank you for sharing the, um, the goodness that God has been in your lives this week most especially I want to praise and thank God for allowing me to lead our testimony tonight I want to praise and thank God for our home group in Madhavara I want to praise and thank God for my wife my two beautiful daughters yeah. to Manawa and Miro I want to praise and thank God for our kids at home for mom and dad at home as well I want to praise and thank God for the gifts, the talents, and the blessings that God has showered upon me. I want to praise and thank God for the hands that may praise Him. I want to thank Him for, for the wisdom, the knowledge, the understanding in my place of work, also allowing me to do some studies. I want to praise and thank God for the strength. And I most especially want to thank God for the gifts and the talents upon our wall today. I want to praise and thank God that God has been good to you. God shower down blessings. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord, saints. Tithe and offering time. Let us um, recite our Malachi 3 8 to 10. Will a man rob God? Yet he uh, rob me. But he said, Very let me rob thee in tithes and offerings. You are cursed with the curse, for he had robbed me, even this whole nation. Bring you all the tithe into the storehouse, that there may be meat in my house. And prove me now, you will say, the Lord of all. If I will not open you the windows of heaven and pour you out the blessing, that there shall not be room enough to receive it. Saints, bring all your tithes and offering unto the Lord. It's not the amount that you put in count, but it's what your heart desires. Praise the Lord, saints.
Solo know where they, they got their income from. From the soil they toil, from the job they, they, that you have blessed them with, from wherever the talents that you have blessed them, Lord. Lord, above all, bless them back a hundred thousands over and beyond, Lord Jesus. We know that you are hard, um, a God of so many blessings, Lord Jesus. So may you open up the windows of heaven and bless them abundantly. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord, everybody. And now we hand over the pulpit to Bishop. Praise the Lord, saints. Give one more big hand of praise to our God. Come on, come on. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Glory, 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 glory. All right, what does Isaiah 40, 31 say? But they shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagle. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. Hallelujah. Thank you. You may be seated. Hallelujah. Father God, for this uh, wonderful evening, and I'd like to acknowledge uh, the team that did our decoration for our altar. Uh, beautiful. Hallelujah. I haven't seen uh, these flowers like this. Hallelujah. They were one color last Sunday and another this Sunday. Amazing. Thank you, Jesus. So thank God for those uh, very uh, skillful hands that prepared them. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. It's been a very busy week with so many kamipule, uh, so many bereavements that uh, we made the effort to attend on behalf of the church. Hallelujah. We got stuck at one, but nevertheless, hallelujah. And uh, at the same time, uh, catering upon, catering upon, caterings. Hallelujah. But nothing was ever impossible in the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank God for our sound uh, people. And uh, Tau and Maina were requested at uh, uh, Mama Manalangi's uh, funeral yesterday to just set up a good sound system. They can do the zooming where Byron Brown couldn't do without the sound from our, uh, hallelujah, people. And uh, I was there too, hallelujah. It, it went on and it zoomed from all over, from China, somewhere in the Middle East where the children were. They all uh, spoke and communicated one with another as if, hallelujah, they just around the corner. Thank you for, uh, for being a witness there on our behalf. For your time. Whatever blessing they will uh, bless, uh, that's yours, those who set it up. It's the job. Hallelujah. Thank God for our Apostle John for the big preparation, perhaps an all night uh, preparation for our lovely luncheon today. Hallelujah. And uh, thank you, Jesus. Uh, when tourism came, they brought uh, to Bamalaska. Hallelujah. And they still left over after church, after our stretch up. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus, because the stretch up is only on the legs and uh, on, on the, the feet. No stretching for the mouth, so needs a little bit of stretch up out there. Hallelujah. Munching and chewing and swallowing. Thank you, Jesus. I hope uh, the saints have found a little time for power net. Hallelujah. Uh, those who went to the prison ministry and then took the extra mile and come back, uh, no time to get themselves ready. Hallelujah. And most especially my secretariat uh, team uh, worked so tirelessly uh, to get everything uh, uh, on top. Thank you, Jesus. I'd like to acknowledge our dear Mama Tapu for looking so very charming today. Amen. Beautiful. Yeah, and uh, look at this, a masterpiece. That's a masterpiece. Hallelujah. She's still uh, sewing even right now. That's her joy at home. That's her occupation at home. Keep her mind sane. Hallelujah. Wow. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. And this uh, craft work out here. Uh, thank you, Vero, for 
all that and uh, getting Mama ready for this. Hallelujah. Glory to God. I'd like to also acknowledge God for the very beautiful summary of our Sunday school from our Mama. Hallelujah. I really enjoyed it. I've heard the story of Joseph so many times. We've all the story of Joseph so many times. But as uh, Mama Marjorie says, it's like a, a new story altogether. You can help but feel through it all. Hallelujah. The hardship from the pit of hell. He could have died down at that pit if they decided to leave him there. Hallelujah. But then God intervened. He was pulled out and sold to the Midianites. Hallelujah. And from there, who knows what happens. The rest, the remaining uh, story was history. Oh, well. Carol, really touching story. Hallelujah. Can I have some hands to uh, quickly uh, give these out? Hallelujah. Please. Hallelujah. Yeah. Thank you, Jesus. Yeah. Some more. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory, glory, glory. This is our preaching. This is our teaching. Yeah, we have no preaching tonight. I told the preachers another Sunday. Hallelujah. Yeah, been a busy, busy, busy week. Hallelujah. The spirit of fear is the, the, the root, hallelujah, to almost all other strong men, hallelujah. So it covers uh, quite a bit, but uh, it'll bless us, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. The spirit of fear. Anymore? Everyone? Got a copies? Yeah. Here's some. Yeah, another one. Anybody else? Hallelujah. Don't sleep on our lesson. Put your mobile away. Hallelujah. It's teaching time. It's a word's time. This is the one time the, the devil comes and lurks over us and try to, uh, to distract, to interfere. Okay, we see those signs there, the spirit of fear. Hallelujah. The different phobias, fears, phobias, causes heart attacks, torment, and horror. Fear of man, fear of man. Hallelujah. How do we stand in the gospel when we're facing up with our families and our loved ones and friends and the community? How does Jesus stand in us? Do we shy off? Do we hold our peace, not say nothing because of the fear of man? Can we say amen? amen? The apostle Paul says, I'm not ashamed of the gospel of Christ. It is the power of God unto salvation. Hallelujah. So we need boldness. We can't be bold. We can't be frank. We can't be free at uh, sharing Jesus uh, without this. Uh, hallelujah. A victory over fear nightmares children get nightmares we all do get nightmares and we wake up in the middle of the night it's, it, it seems so real and then we feel scared and we don't want to go back to sleep because we don't want to dream over that dream again hallelujah anxieties stress and so forth hallelujah over the page Thank you, Jesus. This is the twelfth strong man, the spirit of fear. The vairu o te mataku. Iro te te uri a ngā te reo Māori, vairu o te kope. Tu kia kera, mā mā o te kope. Mataku ra. Hallelujah. Shall we read? First, Second Timothy 1.7. For God hath not given us the spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. Ka re oki i te ngākau kope. Hallelujah. Power, love, sound mind. Wow, hallelujah. I'm sure we all uh, uh, desire for this sound mind 
because this demon and the domination spirit of uh, uh, oh wait away not wrong out of the mouth you just feel sorry and sad for our old people once upon a time they were saying they were just uh, straightforward you could hear and understand but somehow not wrong out of the as if they don't even know us that is a very sad situation so we're in the church right now. We pray. We pray. If it's uh, lurking and always getting at you, you better rebuke it now. Rebuke it now. Shut it down. Hallelujah. So we can stay sane. To not be made a mockery. To not be a kawawa ear. Hallelujah. Hey, wow. Pururute. Te patata na choki. Yeah, all these uh, uh, slang words, it's not nice to say that to our mamas, to our papas, and uh, uh, senior saints in the church. Don't make jokes after them. Hallelujah. The pillars of this church, we weren't here when they walked walk through the mud to find you a place with carpet. Hallelujah. So we are greatly indebted to them all. That's why I told Tiki and uh, Walter, you're not preaching this after the evening. I'll find a time in the morning. You're the pillars and uh, you're people of wisdom that the church needs to be blessed and others who will be listening. Thank you, Jesus. There are two kinds of fears, positive and negative. The positive is a natural sort of protection that keeps us from hurting ourselves. Okay, just naturally. Okay, they can't eat that. Ooh, well. Hey. Well. Naturally, you know fire burns, fire hurts. So that's a, a positive one. Hallelujah. They are to, children try to wade into deep waters until they fall over and almost drown. They realize, oh, it's dangerous to be in the water. Stay, stay on shore. Not without adults. Hallelujah. That's natural uh, fear uh, preventing us from advancing. Uh, to dangerous areas. Uh, negative, we don't stick our fingers into a live PowerPoint or blazing fire knowing that it will hurt and do us harm. So we kind of respect and, uh, by staying away from it. We therefore respect fire or electricity or even God by obeying their laws. Lesson learns, uh, learn lessons that keep us safe from getting shot or burned. Hallelujah. I'm sure our electricians in the church had no idea about what they are learning today. Hallelujah. Yeah, we need to learn. My people perish for lack of knowledge. So I thank God there's uh, uh, trade courses uh, taking place in Ararangi, and some people are making good use of it. Tua is the wildering. Uh, my ability that I don't want to another one and another. I don't want to get that one. Uh, Williams being there and a whole lot of others. So the courses are available. I'd rather go to those courses than uh, spending time in for your own future. Hallelujah. I tried the uh, uh, basic uh, elementary uh, uh, carpentry. Hallelujah. It taught me some basics that I can easily do around the home and small engines, hallelujah. And it won't cost to ask an engineer to come and fix it and charge you 200, 300 dollars. It's only a 20 cents uh, spark plug to go with it. Amen. Hallelujah. 20 dollars rather. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Psalm 111 at verse 10 says, The fear of the Lord is the what? The beginning of wisdom. Hosea 6 4, my people perish for lack of knowledge. Keep advancing, keep advancing, keep advancing. This is what uh, is uh, blessing the church because of the multitasking people, gifted and talented in the church with food making, you name it. Hallelujah. 
Yeah, so be with that uh, knowledge to bless the church of God. Well, uh, the bottom line of it all is not about me, it's not about you, it's always the kingdom of God. Hallelujah. Whatever gifts and talents that God blessed you with, skills, it's uh, extended to building up the kingdom of God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. So negative fear chokes our faith. Negative fear chokes our faith. But the good But the good news. 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 But the good so fear is directly opposed to God's law. Hallelujah. It binds, it paralyzes, it weakens, it softens it up for the arrival of other spirits. Why did they put the bondage on us all? Because there's a greater spirit coming. Softens him up for the arrival of other spirits such as infirmity. Hallelujah. Because of that fear, he didn't make it. I thought, no, I thought, we put matter, put matter. We hear some people say that, well, we go to open an idea, we go to open. Can I just do open an O? Stop talking nasty things like that. God is the God of the living, not of the dead. Don't anticipate death. Don't dwell on death. It's a go, 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 go. Hallelujah. Don't be like the 38 uh, years man at the pool of Sidon. And about Yesu, you still there? Well, every time the water stirs up and I try to get there, somebody comes in front. For 38 years, Jesus saw the lie in him. He said, get up, take your bed, go home. So do I ever talk about it? Maybe he was enjoying the free lunch from people. Free snacks, they come and drop here. Wow, sympathize you again. What time he's been pitied. So, how many people are like that? So, Hallelujah. Jesus, rise up and walk. Hallelujah. Medical science tells us that fear can cause many kinds of sicknesses. And the scripture says, but the fearful, the unbelieving. Fearful, unbelieving. So, unbelieving is being fearful. Being fearful is unbelieving. Unbelieving leads to fear. So it's a combination. It's a lack of faith. And Jesus always says, oh, people of uh, little faith. Hallelujah. But the fearful and unbelieving shall have their part in the lake which burneth with fire and brimstone, which is the second death. Here are some of the signs of unbelief, symptoms of unbelief. The disciples were caught up in a fear and battling a storm of lack of faith. And uh, Jesus said, why are you fearful? O ye of little faith. Who wouldn't? We've been sailing on open boats a long time. I tell you, out of the sea, when it gets stormy, you can't help. Your mind entertains. What if the boat cracks? Hallelujah. But then again, faith arrives. Faith Arise. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. What were they afraid of? They thought they were going to drown and die. They forget that Master Jesus is life, one who has power even over the wind and waves. Because of their fearfulness and lack of faith, they open a doorway for death to take over the fear of death, of drowning. Hallelujah. So we're going to be, not just some people will uh, uh, believe in uh, positive thinking, but positive thinking has no end. 
We're talking about faith, meaning there's a God we have in faith in. Positive is just wishful and hoping it don't happen. But things can happen. But we have confidence in the one who is always there. I will not abandon you. I will not leave you. I will not forsake you. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Afraid, the first fear came to the human race when Adam and Eve first disobeyed, sinned against God. And he, Adam, said, I heard thy voice in the garden, and I was afraid because I was naked. In other words, I sinned. Who told you you were naked? Because he was sinned. He saw his nakedness. Before he, he sinned, he didn't know that he was naked. So that's what sin does in our life. You're going to see your nakedness. You're going to see your vulnerableness. And you're going to, like you are being exposed. As if everyone is seeing in your mind, seeing into your heart. So it creates fear. Uh, I don't want to go out. They might be talking about me. And they might be saying something. Guilt builds up inside. So then we excuse, I can't come to school. We excuse, oh, I couldn't come to my dental appointment, to my medical appointment. I couldn't come to school. No, it was fear of nothing. Afraid of your own self. Hallelujah. So that's what happened, happened to Adam. Whenever we uh, overstep our mark and sin against God, we're going to feel that nakedness. The nakedness is your sin is exposed. As if everyone is seeing through me. Everyone is talking about me. Then we're going to point fingers uh, about your, your friends. Gossiping or whatever. So the insecurity in us. Hallelujah. And I hit myself. I hit myself. We run into cases where some people can't face reality. They miss church. They miss Sunday school. They miss home group. That's a reality of it. Hallelujah. A, a bubbly Christian can't be stopped. Can't be stopped. As a heart, as a heart longing for uh, water brooks, so long is my soul. As a heart, the uh, a deer, antelope, they always on alert. Too wrong, always on their toe. Sin does that to us. A sinner is always fearful because he knows that he is walking in disobedience of God. Heart attacks. Scientists have discovered that highly emotional events, both good and bad, can upset heart rhythms to the point that sudden cardiac failure takes place. Jesus prophesied that this would be sign of the end times. That's one of the highest rates. Death rate is heart attack because people are living in fear. They can't bear the thought about tomorrow, the thought about leaving the children. What happens to my business? What if I don't have no job, no more income? So it's gonna uh, drive us to getting heart attacks. There in Luke 21, 26 read, man's heart's failing them for fear and for looking after those things which are coming on earth. COVID-19. Yeah. Not everyone are happy about it. They're panic stationed by the tail. That's why they can't be obedient. They they break the lockdown, the quarantine, the isolation, and they have no uh, conscience about other people contracting the disease, the sickness. They're out. Just breaking the rules, breaking the rules. They're panicking. Spirit of fear. The open door of opportunity. And number four, allowing the devil to invade or intrude one's life and home situation. Read Job 3.25. For the thing that greatly feared is come upon me, and that which I was afraid of 
is come unto me. So Job was uh, bound by that spirit of fear, sitting naked in his own house while his friends uh, tried to make a mockery of him. So Job opened the door to satanic oppression by fearing the loss of his children, the wealth, the health, and Satan took advantage of that legal entry into Job's life with vengeance. Except that Satan couldn't take Job's life because God still had his hedge over Job. He told the devil, you can do whatever you want, don't take his life. So he restricted Satan's actions until Job got his thinking straightened out. When we go to uh, Job uh, 42, he says, Oh, I've uh, only been hearing you by the ears, but now I see you. Hallelujah. For I know that my Redeemer liveth, that he shall stand on the latter day upon the earth, though worms eat up my skin, destroy my body, yet in this same destroyed and destructive body, I see my Lord. He had hope even in his cancer. He had hope even in his diabetes. He had hope in his boils and infirmities upon his body. He rose above it. When he did, when he did that, hallelujah, uh, and number five says, Job shut the open door to Satan. Shut Hallelujah. No more falling into those foolishness. When Job finally got things sorted out, the Lord turned the captivity of Job. So God released Job from the captivity of his own fear. So the Lord blessed the latter end of Job more than his beginning. After this, uh, Job lived 140 years. Hallelujah. When Job finally got the victory over fear in his life, he had 140 years of peace, of prosperity, and a beautiful family. Hallelujah. God restored back his family that he lost. Restored double, 500 to 1,000, 5,000 to 10, and so forth. Livestock. The devil never again had an open door to enter his life through fear. Victory over fear. Lack of trust in God and failure to read and study his word leads to a life of defeat and powerlessness. Hallelujah. Psalms 119 and verse 11. Hallelujah. Thy word have I hid in mine heart that I might not sin against thee. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. Nightmares. We must be free from fear even while we sleep. Hallelujah. We do have nightmares. Mama would share her nightmares. I would share hers mine. Hallelujah. But there's always that uh, uh, faith over whatever fear may come upon us. Because the dream is too real. Sometimes you just see all dead bodies and recognize but only one. What on earth does this mean? Does it mean that I'm going to die? Is it a visitation from the world of the dead? So all kinds of people are going to go and 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 go so when, uh, when children have nightmares and afraid to sleep again, teach them Psalm 56.3, when I am afraid, I will trust in the Lord. When I am afraid, I will trust in the Lord. When I am afraid, I will trust in the Lord. When I'm, you can say it a hundred times. Hallelujah. So the psalmist also said, Thou Thou shalt not be afraid for the terror by night, any terror through the night. Hallelujah. Nor for the arrow that flieth by day. Thou arrow get up. May you rise up. Thank you, Jesus. God for you. We go in there. No, I don't talk about me. No, no, me no. Now we're not going in. Thank you, Jesus. 
And you go, who is that to a bow where where I was on the wrong side? <laughs> oh, it's me on the right side. Ah, well, terrified that. And the arrow that flies by day. So we can defeat the spirit of fear of the enemy when we bring every thought and imagination into captivity. And we are commanded in 2 Corinthians 10, 5, shall we read? Casting down imaginations, every high thing that exalted against the knowledge of God. And bringing into captivity every thought to the obedience of Christ. And having in readiness to revenge all disobedience when your obedience is fulfilled. That's, a, that's a, a strange scripture. We can defeat all disobediences when obedience is fulfilled. The answer is still right there. Hallelujah. Do damage to all the disobediences. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. My, my fullest uh, concern, hallelujah, when our young teenagers are not in the house of the Lord, when they don't have sufficient time to be grounded in the word, and uh, their prayer life is almost empty and dry. Oh, Lord Jesus. They'll be worse than the world who never saw the light. Can I hear some amen? Hours from the light will be worse than those in the world. And who are they going to embarrass? Their grandfathers, grandmothers, their families. For lack of knowledge. Hallelujah. Fear, fear is it normal? Yes, it is normal for sinners. Fear is normal for sinners. Okay, turn to your neighbor and say, neighbor, are you a sinner? You a sinner? <laughs> sinners fear. Fear is for sinners. May I walk out of my day, but I don't want to go out of my Hallelujah. But certainly not for the saints or children of God. Christ has delivered us from fear. If we will just use his word and trust in him totally and wholeheartedly. Watching horror movies and feel haunting fear overwhelms everybody. Is a tool of the devil to bewitch our minds and demonize our every deep emotions. Forces an open door for the spirit of fear to attack. This is one way Satan uses to bind people with fear. They pay money for the privilege to attend horror and demonic movies where they are being harassed by a spirit of fear. There's a lot of witch movies coming on and uh, vampires. Hallelujah. Thank you, our last uh, page. This is a very interesting. We need to learn these uh, uh, terminologies. Phobias, another word for fear. Acrophobia is the fear of heights. Some people can't climb up the ladder, can't go up the tree. Acrophobia. Astrophobia, fear of lightnings. Dogs, Akaro. We feel sorry for our dogs. They be all the way in the corner. Yeah. Find him for comfort. Something about the animal. Uh, hallelujah. Well, they feel lightnings. Whatever is in the lightning. We never see our dogs, uh, you know, go berserk until it starts lightning and uh, thunders. Claustrophobia, fear of enclosed places. Hallelujah. Some people can, can stand little rooms or little corridors or little tiny cars. It uh, causes claustrophobia. Even in the elevator, when it's crowded people, I, I've seen some people just ran out, shot out, because they couldn't stand. Hydrophobia, fear of water. Nitrophobia, nectophobia, fear of darkness. Pyrophobia, fear of fire. Thanatophobia, fear of death. Are all forms of spirit of fear. Hallelujah. 
Say to the people of God, God uh, brought us into this world. God blessed us with the Holy Ghost so that there's no fear in our lives so that we can spread our wings and soar high to the highest. Hallelujah. And uh, have a distant vision, not just seeing in the horizon, but seeing further to another island, to another country, to another nation, and continent to as far as you could go and marvel the magnificence of the creation of my almighty God. Hallelujah. You ought to count yourself blessed. I've been here, I've been there, I've been there, I've been here. I've always told my uh, uh, pastors in the church, it wasn't until we became apostolic pastors. Lo and behold, who would think that you'll go to the United States, you'll go from one state to another at a convention, and to Papua New Guinea, I think most of us would not have gone that far if it wasn't for our South Pacific District Council. And we'd always come up with a whole lot of excuses. $2,000, $3,000, $5,000 return to go. Tire of Okimai. It was like nothing. So we need to need a bondage. Oh, well. Hallelujah. So they didn't need to give me a minute. How about the air? Thank you, Jesus. Glory to Jesus. Hallelujah. So excessive timidity. Worry, timidity. That's being timid. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Timidity, worry, psychological uh, complexes that keep us from being free to express ourselves all have their roots in fear. Hallelujah. Some people can't even get up to talk. You can't even put your mouth to say thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. And then you die, you never say thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Live 60, 70, 80 years, never say, thank you, Jesus, hallelujah, Jesus. Perhaps at home, what about others to just hear your voice, to hear your testimony? Apostolic is a testifying church. You never hear testimonies anywhere but in the apostolic. Because in Timothy, he speaks about uh, testify, testify. testimony. Hallelujah. That's why we are walking on my hour, prayer. Because we can't do it during the morning. Too busy to walk that Hallelujah. Type the phone. And the evening is free and open. To my to all right. To my to all. Check it to the hour, my book. Hallelujah. Pede Maru, you are at the Uru. Yeah. Yeah, but I will talk. You are at the walk. Hallelujah. I got a great deal to Uru. Pede Panapana by the wife. ก็ไปดูกุยตุตุเฮียอีเสียเป๊ะแล้วมันจะเตะอะไรอะไรที่ตะเตะมรุมรอจะรู้กูดิจิเกะวอทวอลไลน์อัพวีอิสตูไลน
in the old church you can come up here as free as you do now there are open up a lot lockdown of all kind of thing out there with open borders open barriers but no one wants to move amen all right think hard oh lord what's happening Now, confidence in the Spirit of God. This is a beautiful story, Luke 11, 11 to 13. Shall we read together? If a son shall ask bread of any of you that is a father, will he give him a stone? Or if he ask a fish, will he for a fish give him a serpent? Or if he shall ask an egg, will he offer him a scorpion? If he then, being evil, know how to give good gifts unto your children, how much more shall your heavenly Father give the Holy Spirit to them that ask Him? Hallelujah. That's how much we, we show our love to our children. But you may want to get to have a burger. Or get to a pork. Can I have a burger? Or get to a burger. Or get to a frog. Hallelujah. So we still got good in us. So not to a uh, tattoo, they were to tattoo. Oh, yeah. Hallelujah. Shortcomings. But imagine God in him is no darkness at all. He's altogether love. He's altogether light. He's altogether good. Would he not give you what you ask? But you never ask. But we never ask. And if we do, we ask a miss. This is how we ask a miss. Lord Jesus, you know what I need. You're the all-knowing God, all-seeing God. Please give me my miracle. You know what it is. That's asking a miss. So imagine you're going to your father. Father, I know you know everything. I love you. You know what I need. Can I have it? And the father said, what does he want? <laughs> Food? Or money? Pocket money? You're going to be precise. I want a motorbike. I went to Atu and uh, my friend took it. And he said, I just bought my grandson a bike from Pickering Motor. And I asked him, how, how much was the bike? Over $4,000. Wow. $4,000 to a grandson just a run around at you. <laughs> Amen. That's how much he loves him. Just imagine asking, God, Lord Jesus, I'm waiting for a little better, decent car, but I still have the, you know, this one ball always break down on the road. Wake up in the morning, you won't go because my husband wouldn't buy me a new car. <laughs> Just ask, Lord, you know my husband, that should be his priority to get me a decent vehicle so I can get to work and back and I can get faster home so he won't be waiting for too long that I conked out on the road. Just tell him. And your husband will come back and say, wow, hey, who came? No one came, this is my car. How did you get it? Just tell the truth, my God gave it. We've been married for 10 years. I've been waiting for this car, never came. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. Don't ask a miss, hit the bullseye. May 10 speed bicycle today. May big balloon bicycle. I can't get that. Big balloon bicycle. You gotta be specific. You gotta be precise. Whatsoever you ask in my name, I will do it. Mitirai, tota do mitua. It's not altogether perfect, but they make sure they give good meal to their children and give back what they want. Imagine how our fathers would reward us. 
so much more. So we get and receive exactly what we ask for when we pray in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Thank you, John, for that uh, beautiful testimony. Simple faith. Bottle of oil. I like the way he, he did it. In the name of Jesus. Bang! That's what he said. Bang! Like a, a bullet shot to the devil. In the name of Jesus. Bang! Gone. Our spiritual guide, the best way to combat fear is to fill our hearts and minds with the word of God. Like Jesus filled his, uh, his throughout his wilderness temptations in Matthew 4. And use it like the sword of the spirit against the fears and onslaughts of Satan. Keep uttering those victorious words. Get behind me, Satan. The Lord rebuke thee. Hallelujah. All the time. Yeah, <laughs> always conscious, always conscious, like someone is in the dark, someone is Hallelujah. <laughs> ah, so bind that spirit whatsoever thou shalt bind on earth shall be bound in heaven. Hallelujah. Receive the spirit of peace, whatsoever you shall loose on earth shall be loosed in heaven. Loose and release the spirit of healing. Hallelujah. It shall be released from above. <laughs> healing. Fear be gone. Hallelujah. All right, John 14, 27. All together. Peace I leave with you. My peace I give unto you. Not as the world giveth, give I unto you. Let not your heart be troubled, neither let it be afraid. Hallelujah. Say this prayer after me all together. One, two. I claim the mind of Christ from this day forward. Thank you, Lord, for delivering me from the spirit of fear. Amen. Give Jesus a hand. Praise. Thank you, Jesus. Glory, 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 glory. Hallelujah. All right. I've already asked the, uh, the, the Penrin people from the far north. Hallelujah. Let's say, let's see, let's say, let, let's feel it. Hallelujah. Over to you. Hallelujah. Over, over, over. That's creativity. Thank you, Jesus.
out that they work so hard today. They had to cater over and beyond the number. I think we had uh, over 28 people, guests, at our Kai Kai, in Just a couple more matters and issues I'd like to include for, for prayer. Hallelujah. I just want to make myself clear to the church. I'm not dragging anybody in. Hallelujah. You pray for your pastor. You pray for our church. You pray for our faith. We are not departing from the faith. We are facing challenges by the bull's horn. Hallelujah. The issue here is the criminalization of this class of people from colonial days. You know, in those days of the missionaries, afraid, they are my fear, this and this. So they locked in uh, with this type of, hallelujah, uh, class of people taking literally uh, from biblical uh, times to the day. So it's in our constitution, hallelujah, it takes the parliament to change it. But in colonization is over. Hallelujah. We came through 55 years of internal self government. Uh, we're at this time and at this era. Hallelujah. The age of knowledge. Hallelujah. The challenge is to the church, the challenge is to our Bible principles and Bible uh, heritage. Uh, there's no criminalization in the Bible. There's condemnation in the Bible. Hallelujah. But no criminalization like uh, these uh, others of our children, our own people. Hallelujah. Our own population are, are feeling like they are chained and locked. Hallelujah. Then I'm saying to myself as a pastor, since I was 70 years as a CICC pastor to hallelujah almost 40 years including our apostolic faith hallelujah are we justified hallelujah allowing that to hold on and stay on we know what the God did with Sodom and Gomorrah there was no one righteous, none, none. The only righteous people was uh, Lot and his wife and his uh, two daughters who fled and leaving Sodom and Gomorrah. No other population, no heterosexual, no, all were homosexual. And to the worst, to the lowest. And God in his divine mind destroyed the whole city. God did. Hallelujah. Like he did in the days of Noah, no different. There were heterosexual, there were homosexual, all kinds. Marrying, giving to marriage, drinking, eating, being merry. A whole world's population, not just the town of Sodom and Gomorrah, a whole world population perished in the deluge because of the sin and wickedness of the people. No response to the righteousness of God. There was only one righteous person, Noah, preaching to his own children of three boys with their wives. Chirarai. And out of that, two of every kind, male, female, male, female, into the ark to restart creation, repopulate the earth. A whole world population, everybody in their wickedness. Amen. So to this day, hallelujah, they already locked it. They already, shall we say, are they to apply? They're all in prison. Did they steal? Did they burgle like some of our children are burgling? Some of uh, some married people are running free without even any guilt about what they do. They know it's sin. 
the people are in the Namuri and Karikitia, Kitabara with the two in the church. No church is justified. We're not talking about other churches outside us. We're talking about ourselves. Let us examine ourselves, the Apostle Paul. Search me, O God, and uh, find if there be any evil wickedness in me and lead me in the path everlasting, the way everlasting. Every day, search. Hallelujah. There is a certain time where mercy applies and uh, give time for our new soul to mend his or her ways and uh, come up to the level acceptable of God. Yeah. We have that mercy and graceful, hallelujah, uh, forgiveness. But we pray, Lord, uh, when we are all, hallelujah, clean and righteous in the presence of God. Tato eta tato tamriket. Boto tato aro e teno o mamao e tato. Can we say amen? Hallelujah. So talking to the church. Because I know most people. Hey. He. Tipu ato de lao. The attitude is very, very. Wow. Very bitter. Without any rationalization. No reasoning. So if you had one of those yourself, you'd be included in it. Just the word criminalization. What crime did they commit? What crime? Did they murder anybody? Did they kill anybody? Did they steal? Did they burgle? Burglaries is still happening. Stealing is happening. Cheating in government is still happening. Were they one of them? No, it's no more people that go to church. So we're very quick to pass judgment. It's a uh, class of people just because of their lifestyle we know no one is ever accepted but by repentance that is sin and the penalty of sin is death so is alcohol so is drug addiction so is gossip we all condemn the same way hallelujah so if that's going to hit the, the church and the Cook Islands and the, hallelujah, what are we going to say? It's coming. I'm just raising the matter and issue. We can, yeah, uh, ponder upon it and, and pray about it. But the justification is, hallelujah, why criminalize them while others are running free? Carrying out the same old way, same old sin. Never condemned. I don't think I can face that. Because I don't want to be judged over them. I want to reach their soul by ministering to them. Hallelujah. As much as I could, like I do to the alcoholics, like I do to the unsaved and the lost people that are around. Be treated the same way we reach other people the same way we should reach out. Hallelujah. Amen. Eh? So I don't want the, the church to say, hey, what's happening to our pastor? Is he going cuckoo? Be realistic. Be reasonable. Hallelujah. They still gotta go through that water, watery grave. Still need the Holy Ghost and live a holy and sanctified life, the same that we have not even been able to live up to, even ourselves. So I call the church to, to pray. 
Yeah, I'll be very forthright. I'll be uh, very outspoken. Hallelujah. I want to declare my faith that I'm a sinner saved by grace. Hallelujah. So the church is for sinners to be recycled, reconciled. None, none, none righteous. Except thank you, Jesus. We got through the plan of salvation. Got the Holy Ghost. Hopefully we can live up to and stay focused on Jesus and pray God these when they see love pouring out to them from a, a church not shutting their door on them and not uh, feeling held back and afraid to enter hallelujah you never know the Lord will bring them in hallelujah everyone who came into this church came their own way it took time for the word to to clean and refine them hallelujah we don't judge them immediately. We give them time like it has taken us time uh, to become who we are. The same way. Hallelujah. They're going to clean their acts. Who by and what by? The word. By the word. By how we conduct ourselves in front of them. And how we show love with them. So sit with them in the community. Invite them for coffee. Sit and talk to them and make them feel welcome, make them feel at home. And then the opportunity the Holy Ghost will give time to say a little about Jesus. But if we block them out altogether, shutting them all out altogether, lockdown, quarantine, how in the world can we reach? Hallelujah. I don't want you to drag. If you're not uh, in favor of it, your choice. You don't have to follow me, but you still say, stay saved. And you'll be the purest, the most perfect, untainted. Hallelujah. Unblemished, without spot. I don't want to be a Pharisee. So Pharisee means separated ones. So on this issue, the church, it seems to be separating itself where they should be reaching and embracing. Hallelujah. Lord Jesus, on this issue, on this matter, pray for your divine guidance and direction. Bless the church. Bless what we stand on. But the gospel is for the lost. You came not for the righteous, but for the lost to be saved. Hallelujah, Jesus. We are just as guilty sinners saved by grace. Bless the church. Bless us all to be a witness unto our sons and our daughters who may be confused and lost within their own selves. Let the light of your righteousness, the light of your glory, the light of your world, your word illuminate upon them. In Jesus' name we pray. All of God's people say, uh, better. Second matter, I desire your prayer. Hallelujah. Uh, I, I was uh, invited uh, on a seabed mining uh, committee, the six, seven of us. Hallelujah. I gave my excuse. I'm a missionary man at any time when the, hallelujah, when the airline starts flying. I got missionaries out on the field. I got mission fields to, uh, hallelujah, to attend to. And uh, they still insist that we, we need you. Hallelujah. I see this area uh, need the wisdom of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Correct. Since colonial days and into uh, our eternal self-government at Tamagitira, yeah, agriculture was the backbone. I think I I don't know
So that's gone face out. And when the tourists said, woo, with the moon, you to meet again. But the thing about tourism, it don't reach every household. It don't reach everybody. The, the first uh, industry, backbone industry, it reached the northern groups, the Kopara, are the northern groups, the Parala, the Tukumarikinoto. I see it, I know. And my tourism benefit business Otherwise, Yeah. So tourism didn't really answer the need of everyone. Hallelujah. You won't bother the birds help themselves. That's how it flourished. I don't know what to And it's you. Monkey. Today, I was sitting with the papa out there. He was a Napa. Nana de la half PNG. Napa. They are planters, no Arab, no Buevur. Yeah, he, he, he shared the same concern. We need to generate economy here because it was e economic that took our people out. There's over 60,000 in New Zealand. There's over 20,000 in Australia. Drown here, Tato, with the They won't come back until there's a source of economy to bring them back. Hallelujah. So the seabed mining, uh, natural resource, Wow, we get the experts dive deep in, to get the, yeah, the, the densest and very unique and different from land manganese not used. So the ocean is much more wealth. Who knows? This may be God's uh, prosperity promise for the Cook Islands. While Papua New Guinea has gas, they are might, they are might, but abused, corruption, still leave the people in poverty. <clears throat> but we're learning a lot uh, through policy and uh, legislations and so forth. Yeah, the, the committee have gone with more exploration and uh, data uh, provision to hallelujah to share with our people but we move with faith hallelujah with faith everyone is concerned about the uh, the environment but we're not uh, uh, concerned about the children that we're going to leave behind and the generation that's going to come are we going to stabilize their future on solid ground? Or just because of fear of the unseen, fear of the unknown, and fear of the death. Hallelujah. My God is there. We trust. If we claim ourselves to be a Christian nation and put our trust and faith in the God who supplies all our needs in accordance to his riches and glory. We're not going to bulldoze this matter. We got our hallelujah consultation, public consultation, public awareness, and public response as much as far as we could go. So everyone gets to understand what this is all about. Hallelujah. Lord's world, they will come, everything clean the air in here. Uh, we'll tap in. Hallelujah. Especially between Edutaki and the Northern Group. It's only from the ocean depth. It will answer to the technology and the Because there's a big demand that this will answer to. Hallelujah. So on the 22nd of October, perhaps, when we back from uh, we'll launch and then we disseminate the uh, information and give it out have a, a fair share of uh, talking talking consultation and so forth hallelujah and come to a 
and agreement. Lord's will. Hallelujah. But for me, I. Wow. But thank God we haven't kayo over and beyond like other people are losing their country. Sri Lanka lost. Other countries almost can't repay back. Thank God government was careful not to go over and beyond still within the manageable proportion of repayment. Hallelujah. However long this COVID is going to go, we don't know. But one thing for certain, the, the reserve is going down and down and down. Got to do basically to organize jubilee package once and twice. Hallelujah. So next Sunday before the group goes to Bangaya, everyone, the Oronga Maru Tatato catering, you'll be getting your stimulus package the same that costed the fare of those going. We'll be making sure we leave. Hallelujah. When you get, you know you've been active. You've been involved. You've been very practical. Whenever called upon. No. Check will be at the Next Sunday, they will be ready. So we take care of you, Terong Kare'e, before those fly on to Mangaya, the representative Tato. Can we say amen? amen? Fair to everyone? Good for all. Hallelujah. So before we close, Hallelujah. Anybody got anything to? Hallelujah. Two by. Akio by. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Elder.